Who let the dogs out? <laughs> you know that feeling when you are at the very top of the mountain, at the very tip, you can look around 360 degrees, any direction up or down, far or close. It's this openness. How about living in any direction? Not from past to the future, but in the moment of now. We tend to live linearly. It's an inherited structure of consciousness. Our brain, through ages, have uh, accommodated it. We have a fixed memories of the past, and uh, we have some desires about the future. Now, recollect about the idea that everything in the world can be broken down to a quantum level, where everything becomes energy. This so-called quantum soup tells us that uh, every particle has a probability of appearing randomly. <laughs> Next, let's introduce the idea that our body, together with our mind, is a vehicle. Whether you believe in soul or maybe you're atheist, the fact is that our body is a machine, sort of, self-driven or not, depends on your beliefs. It runs on energy and uh, it stores data. These are knowledge, experience, etc., etc. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> so this data, this inbuilt, wired information in the vehicle, it becomes a base for our belief systems, the angle from which we see the world. Sort of like filters, like a prism. And one of these prisms is linear thinking from past to the future. So how to overcome it? Again, vehicle runs on energy. However you understand the energy, bioelectricity or metaphysical or quantum, <laughs> it all comes to the same thing, that vehicle has a level of energy and based on the energy level the vehicle is tuned to specific kind of moment of now <laughs> let's call it like that to show it from a different angle brain has uh, patterns. There are old patterns, the ones that have been uh, existing in your brain for a while, and the new ones, which probably haven't yet settled. When brain doesn't have uh, enough of available energy to comprehend, to process information, it tends to go back to the old uh, patterns, circling within the same belief system of past and future, as, ex as example. Within that circle, it's kind of impossible for brain to step out of it. This is why we tend to sit in the same circle over and over, thinking, obsessing the same ideas. It's on a small, in the bigger, it's the same people we meet, the same situations, repeating. It's, it's just a matter of uh, sizing up or sizing down. Stepping out of it requires energy, and this is why the energy talk is inevitable yet again. But a bit later about it. Next thought throwing thoughts at you. Remember about the randomness of quantum soup, which I've mentioned earlier, and the, the superposition, which says that the system is in all states at the same time. All the states are existing until measured. The measure is you, <laughs> specifically what kind of data you have in your mind, data slash belief slash pattern of past and future. Do you see where I'm going? Change the data means change measurement, measurement, measure, <laughs> means change the state, return to the state of superposition, and from there, based on new updated data, will happen the new state. So you see where we came, <laughs> that it's two components. One, it all ends up in energy. It's inevitable. So first component is uh, make sure that your brain, your vehicle, has uh, juice to process information. And I have a, a video actually, I've done uh, my recent video. It's about energy, what to do to keep it up. It's actually there, <laughs> there. And second is uh, the actual altering of data. And here I have two 
options for you. One of them is patch consciousness. That's exactly what Algorithm is about. It's a fast rewire of your mind. You find uh, what causes the pattern of living in the past or future, for example, such as, you know, uh, traumas, uh, guilt, uh, whichever you're experiencing. That's one thing. Another way is uh, using your own tool. If you're not comfortable with uh, working with your consciousness or not sure if you want to do that yet, use your own thing. But the idea is the following. You need to reduce the attachments of your brain to the old pattern of thinking. In other words, you need to remove or alter the data wired in your in your brain that uh, supports the old way of thinking and the good news is that even if you don't use the track of uh, patient consciousness you still will benefit by entangling this as soon as you find uh, what is uh, causing it and it's pretty much always non-beneficial as soon as you find that you automatically without even realizing most of the time you will want differently and uh, since desires come true <laughs> you'll get there over time it just will take forever <laughs> maybe not forever it will take longer that's if you if you decide to use your own tools now how do you unentangle it questions based on different situations different uh, moments of now <laughs> they will differ as example i am hungry but i want to finish this because it will f benefit in the future see i want to eat that's now but the future benefit so on one side we that's another video to make we want to trust our body it's uh, feeling perfectly when and how. If you need to go to the bathroom, do so. If you need to sleep, do so. Because otherwise you will be forcing yourself and thus draining. Which means that lower energy is lower, uh, lower, lower, lower quality of now. <laughs> Remember, the state that might not be cool. One of the states out of all the possibilities. Uh, back to superposition. So my possible questions would be how does it make me feel that I wouldn't do now? Filters would appear. <laughs> if I use algorithm, I patch it. If I don't use algorithm, I just continue digging further. For example, why do I need to finish it? Why do I need to finish it today? What will happen if I don't finish it? Why is it so important? Etc. In your case, whichever situation, for example, if you are obsessing about the past, which doesn't allow you to concentrate on now, then you can start asking, why am I still remembering about it now that I know that all the states exist and I, for some reason, I choose to remember that. When you change the measure, your consciousness, you change the state and with the state, the superposition goes back to everything is possible and you from there jump to a new state and together with that your past and future changes as well <laughs> because whatever you still have in your memory will most likely remain until you look into that as well but what you have just changed will disappear and according to this new state the new storyline will unfold for you that's why when you choose to think about the past, the past that you remember at this specific moment, you choose to remember that past, even though with superposition being active, you can jump to another one as soon as you understand why it's beneficial for you to remember this specific past. You believe that again in the past you've done or haven't done certain things, so therefore the old pattern of thinking you probably will not get somewhere else because A this, B that, C etc. Whatever reasons your brain will find in your data stored in you. Instead of that you think about now. Now I don't have energy. If I don't have energy, I will be stuck in this exact thing with this past that sucks. 
probably and with this future which also sucks because i believe right now being low on energy i believe that it will suck what you believe will happen except right after you do some fun things you come back you think about the same thing because you have more energy you will think differently already because you now will change you will not be at this state you will already be at another state see that's why you always need to remember two things first it's random it's dictated only of what you have at this specific moment what you believe in what kind of data you have stored in you in your vehicle in your body in your mind and based on that the randomness of the quantum soup happens and another major part as i mentioned it's energy you have beliefs and you have energy beliefs is like a box you believe in something and then energy is uh, within this box you either run out of it so you still have a box your belief system and then within it you have more or less energy at some point you might have huge amount which will highlight your box so much that it will disappear that's the enlightenment awakening moments but then your mind goes back your energy runs away because you wasted on feeling guilty feeling obsessing about your past dreaming about the future etc etc your energy runs out and you go back to your old same box see getting out of which we takes time that's why I uh, talk about patient consciousness you don't wait for this box to change you look at the moment of right now what wall do I see wall means uh, desire belief which one and then I remove it I want it differently that's it I am the dot in this top of the mountain equals my mind right the center of me and uh, i can do any way any thing around me based on now right now at this point what i believe in what is important to me why <laughs> and other questions and how much energy i have if you have no energy even within this box it's already bad you same circle replenishing energy is a must always and then you either patch or change this box using your own tool and there over time because you exercise in this new skill new idea if it's new maybe you already know it at some point it becomes a default for you and you stop falling out of this back into that old uh, thinking of past and future and you begin thinking as uh, this openness to everything because you know that wherever something appears you can look at the same thing right now I have this why right now my neighbors decided to <laughs> vacuum it's 12 p.m. adios good luck <laughs>